You're goofy. Cytomegalovirus. Uh, it's gonna eat you alive. <laughs> no, it's not. It sounded pretty scary about a week and a half ago when I heard that Amori had signs of CMV, but I have good news. And also an apology, sort of done an update video about a month ago, but I'll tell you what, life is just crazy. And um, uh, we've updated most of you just in passing or seeing you, but many of you we don't see every day or even every week or every month. So here we are with an update. Just came out of a slew of appointments here at the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. And we've been talking about needing to do a video update for a little while. So here we are, some things that have transpired in the last six weeks since we made our first video is uh, just a recap, successful surgery for Amori. So she's got contacts in her eyes and can see great from what we can tell. She's had some tests and is responding great to all of them. And uh, many of you have been able to look her in the eye and see her smile, which is great. So. Those are all praises. Um, one big um, hiccup or speed bump, we'll call it, is that presently her contacts are not covered by insurance. Uh, working on getting that corrected, Lord willing, so that we can uh, have insurance pay for the next few pairs after this most recent pair we're gonna need to purchase with our own cash. Thank you to all of you who have helped. Thank you so much. Um, because she'll likely need these contacts for the next three years or so of life until her eyes are large enough for new lenses. Uh, and then those will be put in. Um, our ophthalmologist has recommended strongly that she have the contacts. And right now they don't even make glasses that are small enough for her little head. So nonetheless, thank you so much. I just wanted to update with that because that's a pretty big deal and we've been so blessed by all the help that you've given. Thank I'll let you. Sarah chime in a little bit about what's on her mind and how things have gone today and what, what's coming up next. So... Yeah. Crazy little girl. Sorry. Our four-year-old is crazy. Um, so today we had a bunch of different appointments, um, actually turned out really good. Um, first we stopped and had a hearing test and... Well, what um, happened on Friday last week? We got a phone call. Yeah, so we, I mean, we got the phone call from infectious disease saying um, that they really wanted to see her um, and had a whole bunch of tests that they needed to run to kind of rule things out um, for congenital CMV. Um, and she was able um, to have her hearing test done today. Um, everything was normal and good. Could you please stop? And, sorry. She was able to have her hearing test. It was normal, um, praise God for that. And we were able to go ahead and also um, have an ultrasound of her brain done. Um, everything looked pretty good. There's one little thing um, that they noticed. Um, we are still waiting to hear back from the infectious disease doctors as to what exactly that means. Um, it is something that is noted in congenital disorders, um, but we're not exactly sure what that means yet. Um, he has to find out from the radiologist and kind of communicate with some other providers about it. Um, so you can definitely list, lift us up about that. Um, we spoke with the um, infectious disease doctors um, just a few minutes ago. Um, there's really no treatment plan that will work um, for her right now that, that is necessary to work with. Um, Why is that? Because um, we don't know when she contracted the CMV. Um, there is absolutely no evidence of her having it right after birth or inside of me. Um, there's, we just don't even know. So, and because she's five months now, um, the treatment that they have done studies on, um, they only do until six months of age, so doing only one month of treatment isn't really um, indicated at this point. 
since um, I'm a so YouTube we, pro, we'll do that. there'll be a link in the comments for those of you that want to explore further <laughs> and keep a lookout for my book. Oh, it's coming gosh. out next month. No, it's not. He's got a lot of writing to do to get that happening. Um, but yeah, so praise God, everything's looking really good. We will update you as soon as we find out a little bit more about what the head ultrasound did um, or what the results look like for the um, brain ultrasound today. Um, we will be getting brand new contacts um, sometime in August. I'm not exactly sure when. We see the doctor in the middle of August and that's when he will measure the eye. Um, in a whole bunch of different ways to make sure that he's got the exact contact that we need and we will get the right ones ordered at that time. Um, again, shout out to everybody that has supported us so much um, for her contacts. We just really love and appreciate all of you so much. Um, here's to the future. It's looking pretty good so far. So thanks everybody. <laughs> wow, smooth, right?